Louise Heiser. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here at the University of Colorado, and I treat sports medicine injuries. I did figure out that I wanted to be a doctor very early, and I actually was given a letter or a book and story that I wrote by my mother from kindergarten stating that I didn't just want to be a doctor in kindergarten, but I specifically wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. How I knew what that was in a rural town in Southeast Colorado, 250 miles from the nearest orthopedic surgeon, I am not sure. But uh, I think apparently I figured that out when I was young and I've kind of followed that entire career path from that day on. So the most common injuries that come to mind when people think of sports injuries, I think would the most common one would be an ACL injury or an injury to the anterior cruciate ligament, which is a ligament in the middle of your knee that provides stability of the knee. So we see lots of soccer players, football players, young and um, recreational athletes that have this injury. So ACL and knee ligament injuries are ones we see all the time. Similarly, in the shoulder, we treat things like rotator cuff injuries, biceps tendon injuries, and labral injuries, or things like shoulder dislocations. Um, and then in the hip, which is a new and emerging field in sports medicine, um, you can also have tendon and ligament tears or labral tears that happen that we treat in the hip as well. So my philosophy is to try to treat all of these things without surgery if necessary. Um, nobody really wants to ever have a surgery and a, re a recovery that they have to go through because it means a lot of time off from work, time off from family, and time off from recreation, which we all love to do here in Colorado. So we try as hard as we can to treat things without surgery. There are certain conditions that that may not be the best option and recommend surgery when it's something that um, we think could be detrimental to your health or your function long term. Well, I like to treat all of my patients like I would treat someone in my own family. And I would like to consider if, if this was me in the situation, how what, what would I want to do and how would I want to go about this? Um, I think informing patients about exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it and having an honest discussion about recovery process and expectations is very important um, because you, you're undergoing a large procedure, you're having something done to your body and you're gonna have to disrupt your entire life, your work, your play, um, your family's life to bring you to surgery and take care of you afterwards. So there's a lot of considerations that go into that and making sure you go into a procedure as informed as possible of, of exactly what we're gonna be doing. Why do we need to do this? Um, is it something that's absolutely necessary or is it something that you, and the patient, myself and the patient need to discuss as to their preferences. So some people have complex family situations, some people have complex financial situations, um, and we've got to take that all into consideration for healing and trying to figure out what the best course of action is. So it's not what's best for one person is not always best for the next person. So we have a lot of those discussions um, and in the visits preceding surgery and in those afterwards as well. It's incredibly valuable to see someone that you meet for the first time who comes in after an injury in tears and they can't walk or they can't um, use their arm, they can't go to work, they can't pick up their grandchildren and be able to go fix that problem and see them a few months later um, back to doing things they enjoy. And especially in Colorado, you know, when we talk about sports medicine, we talk about not just high school and college athletes, like the majority of people in Colorado engage in outdoor athletic, athletic things, um, indoor athletic things, we're incredibly active and we want to be able to do that into our 70s and 80s, which is why we're here for the majority of us in Colorado, so that we can play and seeing people get back to doing what they love and playing is, is the most rewarding part of the job.